Hi YouTubers, it's Brian Harkins again with uh, the iMovie Part 1 uh, tutorial all about, well, iMovie. We're going to look at uh, just making a, a simple movie, just how to get your pictures and your video that you've already taken into iMovie and what you can do with it. So please subscribe if you like like these tutorials, like me to do some more. If you've got any requests, please, please ask. Please tweet me on at Brian E. Harkins if you get a chance. So anyway, let's move on. This app, iMovie, is, uh, isn't really an essential for any school using iPads in classrooms. It's uh, really versatile, easy to use, and great for literacy and topic work, uh, but not limited to those, you know. I'm sure you've got loads of ideas that you could do with them. So I've worked with children from year one to year six uh, all the time on these, th these sort of things, particularly in topic, uh, but also in reading. We did some reading videos promoting reading in school. Uh, we did some film trailer competitions a while back using literacy topics. Um, so let's get cracking. So this is iMovie. Uh, I'm going to click the add in the corner just to get adding a new project. We've got two choices here. We've got movie or we've got trailer. I'm going to go for movie for this tutorial. The next one will be about uh, the film trailers. So at the bottom there you've got uh, a list of all the different genre that you can choose different themes. We've got bright, playful. You can hit play on any of these and you can see the kind of things that are in that theme. So it depends what kind of work the children are doing to see if it fits in with with what they're doing. Uh, but it doesn't matter if you choose the wrong one. You, know, you, can, ch you can change it, choose another one during the uh, iMovie. The last two are really news report themes. So when you're happy with your theme, click create in the top right corner. Okay, so we've got the three sections of iMovie. We've got the preview pane at the top left. At uh, the top right, we've got all the media, the videos, the photos, and the audio that are on the device. And at the bottom, we've got the timeline. So we can see how the movie all fits together. So let's pop some pictures in there. So I'll click photos, photos at the top. Uh, recently added. Choose a picture. And it automatically just puts it onto the timeline. So I'll just scroll backwards and forwards with my finger, just move that along and you can see how it's going to look in the preview pane. Let's get another picture. Just tap it and it just puts it beautifully in place. There's another one. And another one. And let's choose a video as well, recently added. Here's a, a little animation that my little girl made using iMotion HD. Now you can reorder these photographs and video just by holding onto it, dragging it and moving it in place. So when you're happy, just have a quick look. And it's good practice for children just to keep looking at how it works and the timings of things. So I'll just rewind and press play in the timeline. And you can see it's automatically just going through. It changes from one picture. Keep your eye on that white line. That's where the that's where it's showing in the preview pane. And there's the animation. I'll just put one more photograph at the end of that. That's great. If you select a picture, you can just click the yellow uh, ends just to shrink that down because they're a bit long. Shrink them down. Shrink it down. And in between each of these pictures, you might notice it looks like a little white bow tie. These are transitions, and it's how it moves from one photo or video to the next. So if you just click it, you get a few options at the bottom. So you can choose no transition where it will just move directly from one to the other. A bit boring. You can choose a theme. So depending on your theme, it will do something fancy between one and the other. Or a nice dissolve, a fade in and out from one to the other. It's a few different choices there. Just play around with it so it looks nice. Choose another one, and another one. So it's automatically done a dissolve for each of mine. It's a lovely little animation, that one, using iMotion HD. So there we have a very basic film based on what we've been doing. Might be a class trip that you've been on. Um, they, they work really nicely using all the photographs that are still on the iPad. 
and just quick transitions between them. So let's get some text on that first picture just to explain what the video is about. So you highlight the picture and at the bottom left corner you'll see the T. Click it and you can choose one of these nice animations at the bottom and just press it. I'll go for a pop-up. You can see it says title text here. All I've got to do now is click in the middle of the text and just delete that text. I'm going to call this Conkers. Done. And let's just go press back and play. Nice little animation. Let's watch that again. Play. Yeah, I like that. Just pause that. At the top left corner, there's a question mark in a circle. Just gives you some nice top tips in case you forget what each of the things do on the screen. I'll press it again to get rid of those. So you've got videos, you've got photos, and you've got audio. You can add theme music, depending on the theme that you chose at the beginning. Add theme music. And if you click the cog at the bottom right corner, that brings up the uh, different options. So you can change the theme again if you want to. If you didn't like that particular theme, try a different one. You can add filters to your whole photographs as well everything black and white or really vivid colors there you can fade in from black and add some theme music you can see it's put the audio on a separate timeline so let's just have a look at that I'll press rewind and play it's coming on nicely so it's really quick for the children to do So we've been changing themes, inserting images, videos, and transitions between the clips. We've been swapping clips about, and we've been inserting text. So that was a quick tutorial on iMovies. Uh, in the next tutorial, it'll be about the film trailer section. Okay, so bye for now.